But God said, did you preach my word? Did you love each other? Did you love your neighbors? Did you love your family? Did you even love me? And all you're going to say is, well, at least I'm a millionaire. God, God has all the money. All the silver and gold belongs to God anyway. All the money in the world belongs to God. And the Bible says, God lets a wicked man store up wealth, and he, and, no, and he gives it to the just man anyway. So all the wealth in the world is going to go, it's going to come back to the children of God. So it's a very, very vain thing for you just to chase money. Because money is not going to make you happy. There's a lot of rich people who are still depressed. There's a lot of rich people who, are, who still have a lot of problems. They have all the money in the world, but they still can't not figure out life. Because, because love, folks, love, love is more important. There's a battle between good and evil and hate and love. So what do you love, folks? What do you love? Do you, do you love your money and hate God? Do you, do you love do you love your materials and you hate God? Because that's not the way to live life. Because you're not going to find out the purpose of life living like that. You must love what God loves and hate what God hates. And you know what God loves? God loves people. God, God loves righteousness. That's what God loves. Righteousness, holiness, justice, judgment. That's what God loves. But what does God hate? God hates um, pride. God hates liars. God hates murders. God hates um, sexual immorality. Most most things that America promotes, God hates. Most things America promotes, God hates. So do you love what God loves or hate what God hates? Because if you love American culture, folks, your heart your heart is not good. Your heart is not a good standing with God. But there's nothing to love about this culture. There is nothing to love about this generation. This generation is going downhill. Even sex shopping is increasing. Sexual morality is increasing. And, and no one's doing anything about it because people are too busy living their own American dream. People are too busy living in this fantasy world. People say, hey man, I'm half girl, half guy, I'm half zebra. People are in their fantasy world. Get out your fantasy world, folks, and get right with God. Because reality is, God's judgment is coming upon you. God's going to destroy your fantasy. God's going to destroy your fantasy. You can be on Minecraft all day you want to, but God's going to come down with judgment if you don't get right. Stop being mesmerized. Stop being mesmerized with all this stuff. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 2 11, let saints should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So the devil has a lot of devices. A lot of devices the devil has, like pornography. You have all these guys out here being the pornography, and they can't stop. They want to stop, but they can't. Why? Because they're not close with God. It's a device of the devil. Pornography is a device from the kingdom of darkness. And pornography is ruining people's marriages. It's ruining guys. Guys don't want a true relationship no more because they're on porn up three times a day. So porn is the money, folks. Porn is a device from the devil to take you all and send you straight to hell. Because you will go to hell if you don't stop masturbating. If you don't repent for pornography and masturbation, you will perish and go to hell. You cannot watch pornography. You must overcome this world. You can overcome this world by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will set you free from pornography. He will set you free from masturbation. But you must surrender to Him. You must surrender to God. Because this is why many people you have a lot. You have a lot of problems right now. You have spirit spouses. You have all these wet dreams. Why? Because you're into sexual morality, watching porn. You make all these sexual covenants with the kingdom of darkness. You wonder why you can't stop having sex dreams and stuff. This stuff is here. There's a spiritual war going on, folks. There's a spiritual war going on for your soul. And many people, many people, you have no idea what's going on. You think this stuff is normal. It's not normal to have sex dreams. It's not normal to have sex dreams, folks. It's not, it's not normal. It's not normal at all. So, come out of pornography, come out of witchcraft, come out of drugs, and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Give your problems to Him, because it's only Jesus that can set you free. No one else can set you free, folks. No one else can set you free. Uh, alcohol is not going to set you free. Working now is not going to set you free. I mean, exercise probably will, but godliness profits, but godliness profits all in all things. So godliness, holiness, is what, is what, is what, is what profits. Because only God can save you from this demonic world. Only Jesus Christ can save you from this fallen world. Because this world is on top of the flood. This world is not going to last. We're living in the end days, America. We're living in the end days. Believe it or not, whether you care or not, we're still living in the end times. And many people are far away from the faith. Like the Bible says, the Bible says in the last days, there'll be a great falling away. So you see all these prosperity gospels. You see all these 
lukewarm Christians out here. The Bible says that be like that in the last days. In the last days will be like this. You have all these fake pastors, all these wolves in sheep's clothing. These kind of talking about all talking about money and stuff. If these, if these are wolves in sheep's clothing, American church has a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. You have you have a lot of um, compromising churches. Churches who don't want to preach the full gospel, they want to preach a half gospel. They just want to say God's love, God's love, God's love. They don't want to talk about God's judgment. They don't want to talk about sin away from sin. They just want to preach God's grace and love. But they don't, they don't want to preach about holiness. The American church, the American church has did a lot of damage, a lot of damage to um, to the gospel. The American church has done a lot of damage. But don't be fooled, American church. It's about your own relationship with Jesus Christ. It's about it's about walking with Jesus. It's about walking with Jesus. And if you walk with Jesus, you will see the deception that's going on. If you truly walk with Jesus Christ, you will see the truth about this life. And the truth is, most people are living in a delusion. Most people are living in a deception, and it's true. Most, a lot of people, most people are living in a deception. Because Jesus says you must follow him. You must follow Jesus. He didn't say you follow your friends. He didn't say follow um, LeBron James. He didn't say follow Trump or body. He said, follow me. So if, if you're not following Jesus, you're following the wrong person. I'll tell you that. It doesn't matter how nice of a person he is. You can say, well, he's a nice person. Well, he's not Jesus Christ. He needs to follow Jesus. Jesus Christ will get you back to the Father. Jesus Christ is the doorway. Jesus Christ is the door. Oh, okay. yeah. It's not your favorite celebrity. It's not your favorite trap rapper. Jesus Christ is the door. He's the door out of here. He's the only way out of here. There's no other hope for you. There's no other hope except for Christ. It's Jesus Christ. What was that? Well, we have the miracles of Jesus Christ as Lord, Yeshua Mashiach as Lord. Instead of the same person, it's the same God. It's the same God. And Jesus Christ is coming back for his church without spot, without blemish, and without wrinkle. Yes, he is. So, are you a child of God, folks? Are you born again? Because Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So the sheep of Jesus Christ, they hear his voice and they follow him. We're the sheep of Jesus, we follow Jesus. We're not following politicians. We're not following Instagram models. We're not following all these celebrities. We're following Jesus. But most folks, the devil has you so deceived. You're following Trump. You're following Biden. You're following all these athletes. You care more about LeBron James than you care about your soul. You care more about Kim Kardashian than you care about your eternal life. That is sad. You're mesmerized, folks. The devil has you mesmerized. It's like, it's like you're hypnotized or something. All this TV, television. That's why it's called television. Because they're, they're trying to tell you a vision. A vision that's not true. And their American dream is just a dream. All these people out here trying to live the American dream is just a dream. There's only there's, there's only like only a couple people have all the money in the world. Because the, the government is not here for you, folks. The government does not care about you. As you can see clearly, they don't care about what you want. Because the government does not serve you. The government, they, they serve Satan. These people, they serve Lucifer. These celebrities, they serve Lucifer. These people serve Satan. They're going. They serve somebody. Who are you serving? Who are, who are you serving, folks? Who are you serving? Because most people, you're also serving Lucifer without even knowing it. You even say, "Hey, man, I'm not. I'm not a bad person. I'm not. I'm not a Satanist." But are you living for God? Are you born again? Are you doing His will? Who are you serving, folks? Because don't serve your flesh. Serving your flesh is gonna get you nowhere. You must serve God. You must do His will. That's what matters. That's what matters because most people you look up to, most of these people on these billboards and stuff, they actually sold out to the devil anyway. Because you gotta remember, the devil took Jesus on from the mountain and said, "Jesus, if you if you bow out of me, I'll give you all these kingdoms." Jesus, Jesus, you know if you bow out of me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. And you know the devil says the same thing to your favorite celebrity, to your favorite rapper, your favorite politician. But hey, hey, Mr. Politician, if you just if you just bow out of me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. So most of these celebrities, most of these politicians. They bow down to Lucifer and they have all his power. And they, and they serve Satan. That's why they don't listen to your votes. That's why your vote does not matter. Because they don't serve you. They serve Satan. If Satan says do this, they're going to do that. They don't care about what you want. That's why these politicians do this. That's why they make all the, all the dumbest things. They make the dumbest decisions. Because they're not serving you. But you know who came down to serve you? Jesus. Jesus said, I did not come to be served, but I come to serve. Jesus Christ came down to serve. Jesus Christ, he did miracles. Jesus Christ came down to serve. And Jesus Christ wants us to serve each other. Because that's the only person that's going to serve you. It is a church. But the government, this government is not going to serve you, folks. This government does not care about you. If you put your trust in a government, that's a, that's a dead deal. 
that, that's horrible. Don't put your trust in a government. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in your creator. Because God is going to throw all these judges down. God's going to bring judgment to these fake kings. God's going to bring judgment to all these wicked politicians. They're not going to just stay in office forever. Everyone has to die. And God knows. God, God knows what's going on. God knows how wicked people are. But God is a God of justice and judgment. God is full of love. Yes, God is full of love. But God is also a God of justice and judgment. God is the judge of all things. And God's going to bring judgment upon this wicked nation because this nation you're getting out of hand folks america you're, you're getting out of hand you're getting out of hand this stuff is not normal just because it's 2022 it does not matter in the eyes of god god is outside of time folks when you die you're outside of time that's true when you go to heaven or hell it's, you're there forever you're there forever there's no time period when you die you just you just exist you either exist in heaven or you're going to exist in hell so your god is outside of time so just because it's 2022 it does not matter because jesus christ says i am the beginning and the ending i'm the first and the last so god sees the the ending god already knows the ending of all this stuff so just because it's 2022 it does not matter at all what's going on that doesn't matter what matters is god's word that's what matters god's word is what endures forever so don't get caught up in all these cliches. Don't get caught up in all this vain philosophy. Because vain philosophy is not going to get you back to the Father. What's going to get you back to the Father is the blood of Jesus and his word and being obedient to his commandments. You must be obedient. That's what matters, being obedient, being faithful, because God is faithful. Jesus Christ is faithful. When people, when people are not faithful, God is still faithful. God doesn't walk away from us. We walk away from God, bro. These people walk away from God. Someone said, hey man, someone in the church did me wrong, bro, so whatever, I want to be with God. Well, that was a church, I wasn't Jesus Christ. That was a church, but people make all these excuses to not live for God. People make all these excuses to, to go away from God. But God is saying, come back. Jesus Christ is saying, come back, my lost sheep. Because Jesus Christ came. He came for the one. Jesus Christ is coming. He's calling you to come out this wicked world. Come out this wicked generation. Because there's nothing out here for you. There's no love out here. There's no commitment. There's no, there's no, there's no joy out here. Whatever you're looking for is in the realm of Jesus Christ. It's with the Father. It's not out here. Because you're searching for love, folks. You're, you're searching for love without even knowing you're searching for love. And you're trying to search for love in clothes and money and cars. But it's not going to fill you up. It's not going to get the job done. But Jesus Christ, his love, his power, that's, that's what's going to do it for you. You need, to, you need to feel the love of God. You need to have your own experiences with God. You need to have your own experiences with Jesus Christ. It's not about just going to church. You need to have experiences with Jesus. You need to have encounters with Jesus so you know he's real, so you have a testimony. Because just being religious is not going to make you feel like you're close with God. Being religious is not going to help you get closer with God. But having a relationship is what works. You, you have a relationship with your father. Like even with your earthly father, you have, you have a relationship. You talk to him. You tell him things. That's, that's how you should be with God. It's not about just being religious. So there's a lot of religious uh, religious churches. There's a lot of religious religions out here. They just do all these little rituals and stuff. But it's, it's not of God. Like Catholicism. Catholicism is just, it's just religious stuff. It has nothing to do with God or Jesus at all. Just so because it has Jesus Christ in the title does not mean it has anything to do with God. So don't let religion keep you away from the true God. Don't let religion keep you away from the truth of Jesus Christ. Because the devil put all this religion in your face to make it seem unappealing. But God is actually very, very awesome. God is amazing. Jesus Christ is a superhero, folks. The thing Jesus Christ is going to do in these last days is it's amazing. If you're a child of God, if you don't belong to God, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of terrifying. But if you're a child of God, it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting in these last days. We're going to be very busy in these last days. The church will be very busy. In the church, we're going to go through a lot of persecution. We're going to, we're going to go through a lot of um, trials and tribulations. But God is with us, Emmanuel. God is with us. God is with his children. And God is still calling you people to him. God is not giving up. God is faithful, folks. God is faithful. God still loves you. God does not love your sin. God does not love your disobedience. The way he says to repent, you will perish. But God is reaching out his hand to you. God has his hand out to you, folks. But you're the one. You're trying to dodge the hands of Jesus. You're trying to reject Jesus. It's not God, reje it's not God rejecting you. You're rejecting Jesus. Because God is doing all he could. Jesus Christ is doing all he can. What else does he have to do, folks? God even came down and died for you. God is doing all he can to show you how much he loves you. But are you showing how much you love God? 
Are you showing how much you love God? Because God's on all he can say, hey, I love you. I love you so much. I'll even come down from my throne room and be poor and die for you. That's how much God loves you. God's on all he can for mankind. But mankind, your heart, the heart of mankind is so wicked that mankind loves darkness more than light. Most majority of mankind loves darkness more than light. And that's a very sad thing to witness. That's very, very sad. Because it's not God's fault that all these human sex trafficking is going on. It's not God's fault because God gives you free will. God gives you free will because God loves you enough. God's not going to force anything on you. If you love people, you just can't force them to love you. So God says, you know what? I love you, but you have free will. You can either love me or not love me. You can either live for me or live for the devil. And most people sadly choose to live for the devil. That's the sad truth. Most people choose evilness. Most people choose darkness more than light. And that's why the world is what it is. You can't blame God for that. You can't blame God for that. God's not forcing you to do anything. God's not forcing you to do anything. God didn't tell you to gossip. God didn't tell you to be out here cussing out people on Facebook. You did that by yourself. That's your own free will. Because God hates that stuff. But God has grace upon you. And God has grace upon you cussing out people on Facebook. God has to have grace on his murder over too. Because God has grace on all of us. We all fall short from the glory of God. So don't think you're better than other people because you're not that bad of a person. People think, I'm a good person just because you didn't murder someone. The Bible says nobody is good. No, no, no one is good. Just because you didn't murder anyone doesn't mean you're better than someone else. We all fall short from the glory of God. We all need God's grace and mercy and forgiveness. All of us do. All of us do. So we all need to humble ourselves and turn to God. So don't think you're a good person just because you pay your taxes or something. You need to get right with Jesus Christ. You need to ask Jesus Christ into your heart and ask Jesus Christ to clean you up. Because God wants a, a He wants a, a church without spot, without blemish, without wrinkle. God wants a holy church. God wants a blameless church. And it's possible, folks. It's possible because God is with you. You're not, you're not walking this journey by yourself. So when, you, when you're on a road, when you're on a narrow road, you're not just walking a narrow road by yourself. You're walking with Jesus. Jesus Christ is speaking. He's speaking to you. He's talking to you. He's speaking to your spirit. You have a body, soul, and a spirit, and God speaks to your spirit. That's why you pray. You pray. You ask God, hey, God, help me out with this. Hey, God, what should I do? Hey, God, where should I go? And God will God will direct you. That's what we have prayer for, to connect with God. But if you don't pray, how can you how can you hear God if you don't talk to God? If you don't, you don't get if you don't want a relationship with God, um, it, it shows, folks, it shows. Because God's giving you all the tools. God's giving you his word. God's giving you pastors, evangelists. God's giving you all this stuff to get back to him. And God wants to be in your life. God wants to bless your life. But God cannot bless your life if you're out here flirting with demons. If you're out here doing everything God says don't do. Because you, you have all these bondages. You have all these covenants with all these demonic spirits. Because you have not submitted to God. Because you have not gave up your lifestyle for Jesus Christ. You must be able to forsake mother, father, brother, sister, whatever, for God. You must be able to give up everything for Jesus Christ. So are you able, folks, are you able to give up anything for God? Because if you, if you can't give up nothing for God, folks, you're not worthy to follow Jesus. If you, if you can't give up anything for Jesus Christ, you're not worthy to follow him. So, folks, become worthy and humble yourself. Jesus Christ, he's all you need. Everything you're looking for in this life comes from God. God is love, God is faithfulness, He is commitment, and God's love will pour upon you, and you will know how to love, uh, you, you'll know how to love.